So I want to ask you about your other uh, pro project that you're working on, which is about addiction. And of course, this country has particularly um, strong associations with alcohol and alcohol addiction. Uh, and is that, is that what it is? is? Is it just alcohol you're dealing with in that? Well, no, we're going to broaden it out. But initially, okay. we're starting, like we've started already, and we're, we're trying to just, obviously, there's a lot of stuff in the news nowadays yeah. about uh, Ireland's relationship with alcohol. And I myself am an alcoholic, haven't drank in a long time, but I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic, which I know Ireland is watching me now. I know when I say I'm an alcoholic, I know the whole of Ireland goes, oh, this bishop thinks he's an alcoholic now. Typical yank, I'd say he got sick once and went, oh my God, I lost control. <laughs> oh my God, I lost control, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> but, uh, I've heard that said over and over and over. It's true, yeah. Well, which is fine, you know, like there's a lot of alcoholism in Ireland, there's yeah. a lot of problem drinking, you know. Mm. And, uh, We're going to talk about that a little later on in seriousness, but, but with regard to the programme itself, you've examined, you're examining that, that issue uh, Yeah, broadly. well, there's a lot of facts and figures being bandied about now at the moment, and there is awareness building, so we're just trying to sort of... Whenever, whenever they discuss it, right, on the yeah. radio or whatever, there tends to be a lot of discussion about the increase in consumption, which is a fact. Uh, tend to, young people get blamed a lot, which is very interesting, because mm. it seems like the wine-drinking generation are getting off scot-free. Because, uh, like, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a middle-class man that doesn't drink, so I find myself at a lot of like dinner parties, you know? And uh, food and wine are basically what my friends talk about now. But people have this thing about wine, like wine is not drinking. It's like, oh, I can't be an alcoholic. I have wine with my dinner. The French have wine with their dinner. They're not alcoholics. Like, yeah, the French have a glass of wine with their dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not a bottle each, because it's on special in Tesco. <laughs> it's like, well, I have to drink it. With every sip, I'm saving money. I'm saving money. Great value. <laughs> Yeah, I've been to those, you know, because I'm like, a lot of my friends are quite posh. I go to their dinner parties at 8 o'clock. It's like all lovely, you know, like everyone's having like normal conversation. But then the red wine, something about red wine. Yeah. Red wine is like a toxic beast. It's crazy, you know? crazy juice. So everyone's, yeah, because nobody gets out of, off the table. They just keep drinking the wine. And then by 1030, like my lovely relations who were, you know, like really nice at 8 o'clock, it kicks off. It's crazy. It's like, no, 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 excuse me. I don't believe in God. No, I don't believe in God. <laughs> and I am not a hypocrite. The only reason I had my child baptized and so I could send them to the local <laughs> national school, okay? <laughs> it's intense. It's intense. I love, it. I love it. Red wine discussions. Black teeth. The teeth. Lips. The lips. I know, that's a, oh, yeah. a Irish red but, wine parenting. Oh, mommy, mommy, how come the only time you say you love me, your teeth are a funny shade of purple-gray? <laughs>